25-year-old Tan Siok Ching had successfully fought back cancer but had to deal with lung fibrosis as a result of it. Her then boyfriend stayed put by her side despite her repeatedly telling him that he had every right to walk away. Yeah, at that time I was wondering, am I making the right choice? <laughs> If you happen to see the photos during time when she was young, gorgeous, pretty, till after the treatment that she deteriorated, she looks haggard, she looks to the extent of quite unbearable. Um, but like I said these are not something that is the most important criteria uh, in life. Spiritually, I feel more acquainted to her. Gary's persistence paid off, and 10 years later, he married the girl of his dreams. Even more good news followed when Siok Cheng conceived almost immediately after the wedding. I feel a kind of warmth inside me, because when I have my baby inside my tummy, I feel that I have something inside that is alive. I can still recall that the gynae put my daughter onto my tummy. Yeah. And at that moment, there's a sense, there's a sense of uh, achievement and, and a sense of hope. And I found that my life is not the same anymore. Becoming a mother to a beautiful daughter, christened Zhi Qing, filled Xiao Cheng's life with renewed zest. Mother and daughter share a common love for music and musicals. But the music hit a wrong note when Zhi Qing was only seven years old. Xiao Cheng discovered that she had a tumor on her left breast in 2007. When I really discovered that tumor, my mind really go blank. So the first instinct I had is, I have to find Dr. Ang for, for help. Yeah. But then the fear struck me that if this is worse than the first time, what am I going to do? You see? And how much time do I really left? Siok Ching had missed one whole year of follow-up and she realized her mistake. She immediately returned to Dr. Ang for his expert advice. She came back to see me again in July of 2007. It was because she felt a lump in her left breast. Okay, now when I examined it, I was very worried. It, it did not feel right. You know, immediately a fine needle aspiration was done and uh, the next day I told her, look, the bad news is that she has got breast cancer. Gary and Zhe Ting were understandably very worried. Zhe Ting, then seven years old, was terrified. I was scared. I cried for a few nights because she wasn't beside me. It was like um, you were unsure whether she would come back alive or dead. And because I was just young, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I just know that I have to go to school every day, come back, and then just sleep, do my homework. And that's what I can practically do every day. Determined not to waste any time, Siok Cheng started off her treatment at Parkway Cancer Center within five days. We sent her for surgery. Surgery was carried out and uh, it was found that this cancer was a fairly advanced cancer with involvement of the axillary lymph nodes. So after the surgery was done, you know, she needed to have the chemotherapy to treat the microscopic disease. Siok Cheng successfully beat cancer the second time and she cannot emphasize enough the need for immediate action when it comes to cancer treatment. If you really found out that you contracted from cancer, my advice is you have to act very, very fast and must be brave to face any consequence. Whatever treatment or operation that you have is just to save your life. 
It is with this never back down attitude that Siok Cheng continues to live her life today, filling it with adventure and promise. She pursues her love of teaching by giving private tuition to school kids. In their time together as a couple, before and after marriage, Gary and Siok Cheng have done what they loved most, travel the world. I know that traveling around with a condition like that is not easy. I have some surgical masks with me. If I find that the air is not very clean or I you know, sort of smell something that, that trigger my cough, I will just put on my, my mask. But what she loves most is spending time with her daughter, Zhe Ting, whether it is to assist her in her studies or join her outdoors for sports. Siok Cheng's dream is to be able to live to be a grandma, much like Zian Kili's dream is to be able to see her children grow up and prosper. Two incredible women who beat cancer twice by drawing strengths from that unparalleled feeling of being a mother. This last episode of Cancer Warriors is dedicated to all mothers because, as English poet Robert Browning once said, motherhood, all love begins and ends there.